and welcome along and welcome back to spruce mountain farms today we are going to be getting on with some more mulching uh, we're actually going to set a hired worker doing it um, and going to set them mulching the cotton field out here before i do that i need to see if i can repair this tractor um because yeah it's not in a great way this john deere 6m so uh, let's just see if we can repair this quickly uh, repair is going to be 3,000. This is going to make things very difficult today, but I am going to repair it. We need to do that. It leaves us with 55,000, uh, which is barely going to be enough. I think we might have to go and sell some more milk, to be honest. Uh, we are, we are so close to having everything set up and sorted, but, uh, it's, it's just... That little bit more time we need before we can sell the uh, the cotton that is costing us at the moment. So let's bring this here. Um, I think we'll set course play to do this field. So uh, let's bring that up and bring our hired worker up here. So we've got uh, field eight. We are going to create job. We are going to create course play. Uh, Target position is here, like so. Uh, target field position is there. And we want to then generate a course. I'm going to do uh, three headlands. Uh, headland, we want, uh, I, yeah, I, I'm going to get it to do sharp corners. We want it to go right up to the edges. Uh, up, down is all good and perfect. Right, let's uh, generate a field work course. And okay, it's going to go up and down the field like that. That's absolutely fine. And uh, start job. So hopefully, it's straight down and away it goes. So we're going to leave our 6M do this while we go and try and raise a little bit of cash. So we're just shy of 2,000 litres of milk uh, that we can sell. Uh, we do need to get them sold. Uh, we have plans that are going to cost us about 56000 today, I think. Uh, so that little bit of income from the milk is going to be really, really important. I want to get a new tractor. I want to get uh, something that also can do plowing. Uh, I think we can buy a tractor and lease the plow. So uh, we're going to try that. Let's reverse this back. There we go, and refill that, or actually refill that. Uh, oh, wow, it's only twelve hundred liters of milk. I thought we had more milk than that. Uh, let's uh, have a look at the price of milk. Is this going to be enough, or am I am I going to have to sell some silage? Can I sell some? I can sell silage. So we might go and sell a trailer full of silage uh, as well today. That would do fairly well. Uh, let's see. Price of milk. Uh, best place to sell it is the bakery, which isn't too far away from us. Uh, we visited there yesterday and just round the corner here. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe it's somewhere in the center of town. Yep, it is. So uh, I will meet you down there shortly. Bakery is just up here on the right hand side of town. See if we can get ourselves into here and uh, get this sold. Yep, right around the back here. I'll take it in very nicely. There we go. And empty that out. So hopefully that is going to give us a little bit of cash. We have a minus. Wow, we have a minus on our environmental score at the moment, which is not great. Uh, we really, really need to improve that. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is uh, actually, uh, thanks to your feedback, you guys uh, really, really gave me a lots of really good feedback and suggestions and comments uh, in the comments for the last video. And it's informed what we're going to do, especially initially here on this map as far as uh, working the fields. As I said, today we're fairly close with the amount of money we have. We'll be a lot better off in March. But what I want to do is pop into here and we'll have a look. First, we'll have a look at what's on offer. 
Uh, nothing really useful to us. So uh, we'll leave that for now. But uh, several of you guys suggested a tractor that I think is really great to get us started. We did have a suggestion of a 7R, which is 247000 and yeah, is a little out of my price range. If I could buy a tractor outright, I wanted to. And uh, while the Alice Chalmers here, this really appealed to me. I like the look of this. Uh, 302 horsepower. It does go up to... Um, where are we? No, in fact, looking at it, it, it doesn't have enough power. We can't up the power on that. And for what I want to use, uh, that is not big enough. Uh, I like this John Deere. This John Deere is great. Uh, slightly older. Um, again, would have the power. But the tractor that got suggested to me is this. The Steiger Series 2. Uh, now, its initial configuration does not have enough uh, power. It's a little bit under. Uh, so we do need to bump it up a little bit. Uh, we need to get the 320 horsepower version. Uh, I want to put the uh, Michelin tires on. And uh, yeah, I want to put the twin wheels on it. Like, uh, yeah, so like that. So we're going to go start, uh, set up like that. Uh, I want to put the extra work lights, uh, the medium, uh, no, standard glass. Uh, we won't go do a beacon light because we're not planning to go anywhere with it. Uh, air filter, we're just going to go standard. Exhaust, I'm going to put the Type 2 on it because I like the, the black exhaust coming off there. Uh, we are going to go with a standard attacher, and you'll see why in a minute. Uh, no front loader, although that will do uh, a snow plow, a dozer blade on the front of this, as well as a front attacher uh, or a mounted fertilizer adapter. We're not looking to use any of those at the moment. And I'm not putting GPS on it because, well, we can't afford it. Uh, this should leave us with £3,000. So let's buy this. Yes. Okay. Now, the reason why I wanted the extra bit of cash was because the plough I want is this one here, which straight up is £85,000, um, is uh, fairly expensive. And, um, yeah, we need to lease it and we don't quite have enough cash so i think what we're going to do is we're going to head up to the farm we are going to go and sell a trailer full of silage because we have plenty of that um, and then we'll come back down here and hopefully be able to uh to lease that in fact what we'll do is we'll head over here and we'll take the tractor back with us um because I want to get it. No, actually, we'll leave it down here because I want to get the uh, the plow back with it. But look at it. How wonderfully bright lime green is that? Absolutely gorgeous. That's really, really going to stand out. So back to the farm and we'll just park this up over here. How much silage do we have uh, that we can sell some of? Let's have a look in here. We've currently got 208,000 litres of silage. Uh, that is more than enough to feed our uh, cows. So I think a full trailer of this will use our little uh, New Holland tractor to do this. Uh, that will be more than enough for doing this job. Yeah, 125 horsepower uh, should work absolutely well. Uh, something I should note about our new Steiger is that it does not have a number plate on it. So apologies to uh, the patrons, but of course there's no, no number plate to be put on that, unfortunately. Let's back this up. And to do this. There we are. Uh, so the plan very much is, I think, to buy this plow outright once we... Oh, no, around here. Uh, once we get some money in from the cotton... Uh, we also need to buy a cedar, and uh, I'm going to be doing that. And uh, again, based on comments uh, on the last video, I think we might put GPS on the 6M. Especially as we now have the Steiger with the older setup. I uh, I don't think uh, I'm looking to put GPS on that. I don't think we need GPS on that. Uh, whereas our 6M is going to be doing a lot of work around the farm and is, is going to be doing uh, a lot of the stuff for us 
uh, to uh, to earn a uh, to, that, that's going to require a GPS. So uh, I think that's a good way to go. This is not going to hold a full trailer full. It might do. 40 odd thousand liters might even, I uh, know it's 350 per uh, thousand liters. So it's not going to be enough to do that. But uh, 44,748,000 liters of silage is going to be enough to earn us uh, a considerable amount of money. Let's go and have a look. Uh, best place for silage right now is the biogas plant. Um, but it's only two pounds different at the animal dealer, which should work out a little bit better for us. So, bag that. Uh, both prices are coming down. The two pound is not going to make a massive difference. And I know absolutely it's going to work at the biogas plant. And oh, wow, this little tractor is struggling a little bit with this very large trailer. But the animal area is right down the bottom corner of the map here. And our cell point is over to the left. Oh, is this going to be a bail only cell point? Very, very possible. We'll see in a minute. Is it going to let me tip it? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Right, let's straighten things up then. I was very, very worried that we uh, we won't give it to sell the silage then. Uh, tip it. Check that it actually pays me. Yes, it is. And a lot of money coming in. Wow, a lot, a lot of money coming in. Um, not going to be enough, uh, as I said, to uh, actually buy that uh, outright. But it is going to be enough for us to... Um, uh, yeah, to, to be able to get a few bits and pieces. I could even have got that larger John Deere with that. But I've got the Steiger now. Um, we have in, we might have enough even to put the GPS on the other tractor. Um, but I think we're going to wait till March to do that, to be honest. Right, let's head back up to the shop and uh, go and grab that plow into the shop area. And we'll just pull in over here jump out and hop into the shop plows and we're gonna need this now normally on a series i wouldn't advocate plowing a lot but certainly after maize and possibly after cotton uh we're gonna need to plow every time so that will hit our environmental score but it'll hit us harder if we don't uh so we are gonna lease this one of the nice things about leasing to buy this is there are no cust there's no customization on it so that should be perfect. 320 horsepower should match our tractor very well. 320, perfect. So, uh, yeah, yeah, take this over there. And uh, we're going to hook everything up. Look at that tractor. Oh, we've got some deer running about. <laughs> so bright, this Steiger. I love it. I think it's absolutely wonderful. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of a small, big tractor. It's not massive, but it is just perfect for us early on on uh, on here. Uh, it's a pity it hadn't come out on Stone Valley because at 50,000, we would have snapped this up ages ago. All right, we can hook the John Deere plow up to it. And yeah, lots of people asking me, why are you why are you limiting yourself to John Deere's? Why don't you, uh, why don't you look a bit further afield? There are lots of other American brands and things. And I kind of went, yeah, okay, why am I limiting, uh, limiting myself to John Deere? And it's mainly because I just limited myself to John Deere. So, um, yeah, let's get follow me on. Are you actually following? You are perfect. Right. That can be, uh, that can be my chaperone as uh, we head back up the farm with this. Wow, uh, 15 mile an hour, 16 mile an hour top speed. Uh, it might take us a little while. Coming up on field five, we're going to get started with that then. And what I'll do is I'll bring my tractor on to the field. Uh, we will stop the hired worker in the New Holland. 
Uh, and what I'm going to do is send this back to the yard. So uh, just go park yourself there ish. Should be great. Don't hit my uh, okay. Don't hit my new piece of equipment. And we'll work our way back to the farm uh, by plowing this field. And this one of the, well, the reason why I wanted this John Deere uh, plow in particular. Uh, is because uh, it is huge. Whereas we were taking quite a while to do this field with the mulcher last time. Uh, this should absolutely zoom through this job. So down. Don't want field creation, which we're not doing. So away we go. And uh, yeah, trick here is going to be staying on our zero degrees so that we have a nice long straight setup and uh get this field ready for well for splitting uh we're gonna split this field and then we're going to use the uh we're gonna get it uh, done with precision farming and get it uh get it scanned at that point um because as somebody pointed out in the comments uh if we scan it before we it's going to look like one big field still. If we scan it after, it'll actually look like three, four separate fields. This tiger is exactly what we've been looking for on uh, on this American Survival series. Absolutely perfect. I very nearly got the Spirit of 76 uh, colors on this, but I can't ignore this lime green. Um, it just stands out so well. And uh, yeah, it's it's a beautiful color once you get used to the uh, glaring, <laughs> the glaringness of it. Um, it's going to be perfect for us doing uh, the, the two big jobs that we need to do with this. Uh, so the first is going to be doing this and getting these fields um, uh, plowed each time. Uh, as I said, we definitely need to plow the field after we've done... Uh, after we've done the corn, the maize, uh, we might need to do it after the, the cotton. Now, the cotton field at the moment isn't showing signs of that. So it would be good if each year uh, we only had to plow our uh, maize fields uh, and not our cotton fields. Because otherwise, yeah, it is going to hit our environmental score quite hard if we have to do that. Uh, one thing I haven't checked. Oh, actually, one thing, yeah, that we, we're going to have to check and uh, we're probably going to have to do is get these fields limed. I don't know what the pH value of these fields is like, and we won't know that until after we scan them. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, a little bit of a, a tricky situation in that uh, we're going to have to check on that and, uh, and possibly spend a whole load of money on lime. Um, however, all of that is going to come post uh, uh, post uh, cotton sales. So as soon as we sold our cotton, we will be in a great position for uh, being able to check that out. Uh, the other thing that was worrying me about this and about the amount of plowing we had to do is uh, the size of the stones that we were going to be pulling up. Let's just have a quick look in here. And see what stones we've got. Uh, one more. Uh, so this is giving us, yeah, small stones, thankfully. Um, so those will roll in. We'll be able to roll those in. Uh, what we will be able to do, though, is uh, because uh, we have a huge tractor to be able to do it, uh, we can get a very large set of rollers, too. So I will be looking for... Probably these mega rolls. 350 horsepower is a little bit beyond our tractor. Uh, there may be something uh, available that uh, can do it at slightly lower horsepower. Um, but yeah, certainly I want to put big rollers on uh, this tractor and, uh, and be able to do our fields a little bit quicker because of that as well. The thing that's actually um, meaning we have to split these fields, or this field especially... Um, and that we can't just run it as a single big field uh, is the size of the harvesters. Uh, we uh, the the width of a cotton harvester and the width of the forest harvester 
they're not that wide and it would just take us way too long to do those fields or to do this field uh, if i had to do this with a single cotton harvester or a single forage harvester at that point uh, i'm getting into multiple expensive harvesters and we're not at that point in this series we might be one day but right now uh, yeah a, a several Big expensive harvesters is not something the farm can support. Coming up to halfway through the field. And this is pretty much everything I was hoping I would get from this setup. It is absolutely chomping its way through. Uh, it is only three in the afternoon. So a couple more hours of this and we'll have field five finished. Uh, if I can get field six done today, that would be great. But not expecting it. Um, as I was saying earlier, I, I really want to avoid having to plow if I don't need to. So we are not going to plow field eight. What we're going to do is get a cultivator of a similar sort of size and uh, and use that to do field eight. We'll, uh, we'll lease that as well. In fact, if we put this on cruise control... And yeah, we should be all right for a moment. Let's just have a quick look in here at the cultivators uh, for a similar sort of size uh, and a similar sort of pull requirement. The Lemkin here, yeah, is about the same size, uh, but it's only 8.4 meters. So uh, I want to check things out and see if uh, there's anything that is on the Mod Hub that will do that job just as well. And we might have a disc harrow, actually. Where's our disc harrows? There we go. Uh, yeah, we have. We've got the high-performance disc here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. Uh, 350. Oh, the case here. 9.360. That's still too much. Yeah, maybe uh, we'll have to see how we do. We might have to try and push the HP on here. 360 is 40 horsepower more than this tractor has so uh it might have a little bit of an issue there right, let's line this up though and get this last little bit of the field done here and then uh this is all gonna be replanted with grass uh we're we're gonna do grass in this little section and uh, and really uh round the entire farmyard just to, to make things a, a little bit, well, a little bit better for us uh, for what we're doing. Uh, and this field of uh, wheat, I think this, uh, did we find out this is wheat or barley? Barley. So we've got a field full of barley and weeds here. Uh, that field is probably going to go to, gra to grass as well. So we'll have two decent sized grass fields here. And then uh, we'll have... Uh, another three fields here, I think. Yeah, another three fields off field eight. Uh, we've got field six and uh, field eight itself. Sorry, field five. We'll have three fields off three field five. Uh, we'll have field eight and field six. And that should be a really good amount for us to, uh, to do the cotton and the maize with. Uh, and looking at field seven... Yeah, I, th I think we'll see how we go, but it would be good to have uh, three fields of cotton and three fields of um, uh, of maize. But I don't think we can do that at the moment unless we can get another uh, similar sized field to maybe field six from somewhere. Uh, I have a feeling there's nothing close by, though. Oh, field nine. Field nine might be a good pick just the other side of the road. Uh, that's about the right size. I am so very impressed with this Steiger. I really am. Thank you to everybody. I, I said it earlier. Thank you to everybody who's made suggestions in the comments. Your the comments and uh, and and feedback you guys give on every video is so important because uh, without it, it, it I miss ideas or or miss things that i could uh, possibly uh, could possibly be doing in a series or or good ideas for how to take uh, the direction to take something um it 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 makes the world of difference the 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 kind of things that you guys comment um and i'm always always interested in your feedback so uh yeah please do keep them coming 
Uh, you helped shape these series and uh, and you helped give some really good ideas for the kind of uh, things I can put on here. I mean, I would not have considered this tractor um, had it not been put in the comments last time. And uh, I'm so glad that you guys did put it in the comments because it is working out brilliantly for it for us. It is going to do our farm really well for a good while and uh, and it's going to get us going with some bigger equipment. I know somebody was uh, worried uh, when I moved over to this map that I wasn't going to be using the big equipment. I am definitely using the big equipment. Um, I want to. It's going to make a difference to what we do on here. Uh, and in fact, we could go looking for a plowing contract with this, uh, earn a really good amount of money, and uh, and not have to worry uh, about leasing any equipment for it. We could just get it done. So uh, yeah, I think we might be looking at that and, and maybe setting horseplay to do one of those uh, as we go forward when this tractor isn't being used because it would make sense to get this tractor doing some other work. Uh, all in all though, uh, yeah, this has been a great purchase. So thank you so, so much. Our John Deere has finished work. So let's... Uh, oh, no, that is stopped. Uh, let's clear the course then. Our field here is all mulched. Uh, is there any plowing required on field eight? No, it still doesn't need plowing. So yeah, um, that's doing all right. I've got a hard worker going on our plow at the moment. Um, but yeah, field eight doesn't need touching, so uh, that's good. In fact, field seven won't either, so uh, that's all really, really good. Let's get this then back into the yard. I uh, need some lights on on this, and uh, and we can put this away while our other tractor finishes off. In fact, we'll put everything away at the moment. We do have something that we can plant grass with. Of course, we've got our grass roller, so that will be fine for that job. And the only thing, we, we don't have any mowers yet. So we're going to have to buy some mowers. And uh, we don't have a, oh, we don't need a baler on this series because we're not going to be, uh, oh, no, actually, are we? Uh, no, I want to get, ideally, I want to get myself a, uh, a, a um, hayloft on here. Oh, let's not park this here. Let's park it down a little bit this way. Uh, I want to get a hayloft on here. That will allow us to then uh, not worry about getting hay. And I want to get a pickup header for this. So we're going to use this for doing hay as well as doing the uh, silage as well. Right. We want to get this trailer back into place. So this basically lives next to our silage shed. Because there's not much more. Um, and yeah, getting a head for our forage harvester should be cheaper than, than getting a, uh, a pickup head, sorry, for our forage harvester. Should be cheaper than getting a whole, um, uh, getting a forage trailer. I don't think we need it. I think we're, we're pretty good to go. Uh, then to there then with that. And we've got the wind rower. We just need a mower. And I've got an idea for a mower as well. That is something we will explore a little bit closer to the time, though. And as we come to the end of our final row here on field five, and the sun is just disappearing behind the horizon, we have got all the jobs done for today. And yes, we've got ourselves a brand new plow that is doing the job absolutely brilliantly. I could not be happier with this Steiger. It's utterly fantastic. Uh, once again, thank you to everybody in the comments who suggested it. You guys are awesome. Keep those comments coming. They really do shape how this series goes. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.